I would like to extend my warmest congratulations to Korea's Arirang TV on joining the United Nations in-house network. I sincerely hope that Arirang TV will play a key role in linking Korea and the United Nations through up-to-date news and information. Korea has a special relationship with the United Nations. When the Republic of Korea was established in 1948, it was the third session of the United Nations General Assembly in Paris that passed a resolution recognizing the Republic of Korea as the only legitimate government in the Korean Peninsula. When North Korea invaded the South in 1950, it was the United Nations that came to help Korea defend the freedom and maintain independence. The United Nations also helped Korea reconstruct its economy after the Korean War. Due to the East-West divide during the post-war period, Korea's admission to the United Nations had long been delayed. However, within 10 years after Korea's admission to the United Nations in 1991, Korea produced the president of the 56th session of the United Nations General, General Assembly and within 15 years, the Secretary General of the United Nations. Korea has also served twice on the Security Council. Since then, Korea has been playing a very active role in furthering the ideals of the United Nations. It has been playing an increasingly important role in the world affairs and will continue to do so in promoting world peace, economic development, and human rights. I sincerely hope that Arirang TV will be able to play a key role as an effective channel of Korea to the United Nations and of the United Nations to Korea. Thank you. Arirang on UN In-House Network.